Let's read Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. It's on the screen, so we're going to read it together. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Amen. So today the title is Achilles heel. Do you know what Achilles heel means? You all have it. You have Achilles heels in your body. Which part of it is? Which part of your body is Achilles heels? Some of you may not understand this, so I have prepared a picture. Um, can we see the Achilles heel picture, please? Yes. What do you think this is? Well, what is it? Is it a hand? Feet. Yeah, it's a, it's a foot. It's a foot, and this is the whole foot, but you can see a very little thing here. And this is called Achilles heel. So, does it play a very important role? Yes, it does. It plays really an important role. So, when that thing is cut, cut off, then you can't walk. You can't stand up. So, that's really important part. Um, our body is really this big. And Achilles heel is this little small. It's back of our heels. So it's very small thing. But when this thing is cut off, then you can't move. So we can't ignore this. This is little, but it's very important. That is our weakness. The weakness. The thing that I am not strong about. We all have our weakness. That is why we make mistakes. We sometimes make a noise in the class. We sometimes tell lies. Or we sometimes don't listen to the teacher. We sometimes hurt some you know, friend's feelings. That's how we are weak. So we all have these weaknesses. And Satan knows my Achilles heel. That's why Satan wants to attack my Achilles heel, so my weakness will stop me from standing or walking. So that is why to know my weakness or to know my Achilles heel is very important. Um, there are many weaknesses and I can overcome it. Oh, I can overcome that. I can overcome this. But oh, this one, I can't. This one, I cannot stand. I can't let it go. I can't forgive it. That is my Achilles heel. So if you have a problem that you are going through right now, do you have it? Like, if you have a problem that you can't let it go, then you can understand that, oh, this is my Achilles heel. Uh, uh, the thing is, like, when we have this kind of weakness, then we think, like, Jesus Christ finished all the problems, but I don't think about this. I don't think this one is really difficult. So, um, when you have a problem, one time is really important. One time of being deceived will make you deceive more and more. But one time of victory will make you triumph over and over. So, when you have a kind of weakness, what do you do? When you have a weakness or a problem or, you know, the things that you cannot overcome, then what do we do? <laughs> there are things that unbelievers do and there are things that believers can do. But when you listen to the what believers can do, then you may think, like, this is smart way and quick way but this one looks so foolish that is why it's hard to choose the believer's way but today God gave us the answer about that
Today, in our Bible, it says, but those who hope in the Lord. That means, you know, hope is something that we want that will come in the future. That means, until the answer comes, we have to wait. So waiting is the way of, of receiving answers for the believers. It may seem foolish, but wait upon God. That is our way. Usually we can't wait. When we have a problem, we have to solve it right now. That is why we can't wait. We can't wait because we can't let it go. We can't stand it. So that's why we use our own trick. Then we can't see the work of God. Uh, <clears throat> I don't have a dog right now, but I used to have a dog. Uh, that was a very little small white dog and it was really cute. I lived with it and when I give him something good things like snack or a treat then I always told him like wait and then he waits until I say eat then he's like waiting upon me so he's waiting and waiting but why do I do so? I can just give the treat but why do I tell him to wait? I'm teaching the dog who is the master? Who is your master? I am the master. That is why I'm telling you like, wait and eat. So it is a little bit different from giving dogs some snacks, but God is also teaching us that he is our master. So we need to be able to wait until God gives us the answer. So it's like this problem is not my power, cannot be done with my power then the master is not me. God should be the master in this problem. So that is why we stake our life on the worship. That's how we learn who the master is. So that is the best waiting. Think about it. When the non-believers have the problem, they are busy using their own method, but the believers go to worship. Because that is how we wait upon the Lord. Then, the new power comes to us. <clears throat> Today it says, the Lord, uh, in the Lord, will renew their strength. When they renew their strength, that means they can have the new power. So, when I lose all my power, then God gives finally give us the new power and it is the power that we cannot get from the world that is prayer so um, the it, it may seem like a foolish way to the people to the unbelievers but our method is the worship and the prayer then that's how we wait upon the Lord and we gain the new power. And when we concentrate on this, what we will get is bigger evidence than problems. When God gives you the answer, that is much bigger than the problem. But we can't see that right now. That's why it's difficult to wait. Because for me now, the problem seems the biggest. This problem is the toughest. That's why we cannot wait. But when you, once you receive the evidence from God, and that evidence will be bigger than any other problems. That's how we become the witness. And how big is the evidence? The evidence is like this. They will soar like eagles and they will run and not grow weary and they will walk and not be faint. How is that even possible, right? So in the world, it is never possible. But when God gives you the answer, it is possible. So it transcends the things of the world. I really want our remnant to experience that spiritual world still when you are the remnants, the little remnants. Once you experience that when you are little, 
then no one can overcome you, and God will use you as the the witness of the eternal things of heaven. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thanks for letting us know that our weakness can become our blessing. Let us be the remnants who can wait upon the Lord and gain the new power that comes through the worship and prayer. And in the end, help us to become the witness of the answers that are bigger than any other things in the world. And give us the blessing all the time and filling of the Holy Spirit. We pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.